Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video day, and we're going to be talking about the Houston Texans and a free agency rumor as it has been reported that the Houston Texans might have some interest in signing wide receiver DJ Chark Jr. from the Detroit Lions. And honestly, I'd love the signing for the Houston Texans if, if you know, both sides have interest in each other. I've said multiple times the Texans need to sign a wide receiver in free agency. I've been saying Jacoby Myers. I don't think, I think that could happen. I doubt it. But personally, I'd rather have DJ Chark Jr. than Jacoby Myers. I think both are really nice young wide receivers, but I think DJ Chark has way more talent than I really think. I mean, look how he played in Jacksonville. He was a number one in Jacksonville. I don't think he could be a number one here, or possibly he could. I don't know. It just depends how he plays. Uh, he just wasn't a number. He wasn't the number one in my in Detroit because they had a Monra, uh, and even even though he wasn't healthy, they had Jamison Williams. So he he was more looked at the number three wide receiver there. I think you know, I think in a in a different offense with the Texans, I think he definitely could become a number one. It just depends. Um, he could have interest in playing with the new rookie quarterback, whoever that is, whether it's Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud. So I I think that. There is a definite. There is a definitely a chance that he could have interest in signing with the Texans. Um, I like the fit. He has he had thirty receptions this season, three touchdowns, five hundred yards, and also missed some time a little bit. And missed, he didn't play every single game this season. He missed like five or four games, I believe. So yeah, that's in limited time. Um, could have been near to. Could have had like six hundred or, or seven hundred or maybe even close to eight hundred receiving yards if he played all every. If if he's if he's having a, honestly, I think he could be if he's playing his best football on um on a team next year. He's playing his best football and he's healthy the whole way. He could be a guy who could get you a thousand receiving yards if not a th- if not a thousand really close like in the eight hundred to nine hundred range. If he's playing his best football and he's healthy. DJ Chark Jr. is a guy who can definitely do that for you. I don't know if he could do that in the Lions, but I definitely think because they're a run-heavy team, and he's also the third option next season. So, But on a different team, I think he could definitely get you 800, 900 receiving yards on a different team. So I, I just, yeah, I think DJ Chark is definitely a guy that I think would change the offense, the, the look of the offense. You got DJ Chark uh, for wide receiver. You got him with Nico Collins. You also got John Metchie returning, and let's say you draft Jalen Hyatt from Tennessee. So you got four wide receivers. They're all studs. I think Nico Collins leans towards as the fourth wide receiver. I think the number one becomes John Metchie. The number two becomes DJ Chark Jr., and the number three becomes Jalen Hyatt. And you got, another, you got a really nice fourth option with Nico Collins, and then you got a quarterback in Bryce Young or CJ Stroud with a really talented wide receiver group. So I really like what a potential wide receiver group would look like of DJ Chark Jr., John Mechie, Nico Collins, and potentially someone like Jalen Hyatt uh, if you draft them in the second round. I think that would be another guy that I would be looking in to bring in from the draft. So you got those four guys in from free agency in the draft and John Mechie returning from health issues in, in 2022 and Nico Collins hopefully being healthy next season. You got a nice wide receiver group group for a rookie quarterback, whether it's CJ Stroud or Bryce Young, that's whoever's throwing the football. Um, Bryce or CJ, it's a really talented wide receiver group. So I think that DJ would be a definitely great option for the Texans to just figure out what happens in free agency. I think the Texans will definitely sign a decent wide receiver in free agency. Just don't know who that is. Maybe it's Jacoby. Maybe it's DJ. Maybe it's somebody else. We'll see. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy them and thoughts. And peace out. Go Texans.